A lion can be seen clinging onto a tree. Usually lions don't climb trees, but the situation here is quite serious. This lion tried to attack a herd of buffalo, but it went all wrong and the buffalo chased the lion up the tree. Usually the buffaloes end up becoming the happy meal for the lion, but sometimes the buffalo has an Uno reverse card or something of that sort. This Uno reverse card is the will to fight and survive that sometimes rewards the prey by turning the tables on the predator. In this video, we will come across some animals who have this Uno reverse card, and with its help, they manage to get sweet revenge on their predators. Just like the average American, lions too love their meat. However tasty, these wild buffalo are so big that it usually takes a bunch of lions to bring one of these down. So when two lions decided to hunt this giant animal, there were meant to be repercussions. Soon, these two lions quartered the buffalo, and one of them managed to pin the animal down. It looks like a regular day at the office for the lions, and the job seemed to be done. But let's zoom out a bit. It can be seen by two buffaloes haven't run away just yet, and are looking at their friend being massacred. Soon, one of them gathers the courage and rushes in. The charging buffalo picks the lion up with his massive horns and throws him in the air. If one time was not enough, the bull again picks up the lion and throws him into the air. And in the process of hurting the lion badly, the two lions rush for their life while the buffalo celebrate this victory. Moral of the story, you should renew your gym membership. Cheetahs hunting gazelle is always a fascinating watch as both of these animals are blazingly faster than any Olympian you have ever seen. Mostly the hunt lasts for a few seconds and ends in two scenarios. Cheetah hunting down gazelle, grabbing it by the neck, or the clever gazelle escaping the claws of death by twisting and turning as it escapes. But this one time, the cheetah was in for a surprise, as the gazelle was in no mood to go down. The gazelle woke up and chose violence. When the hunt seems all over, the gazelle uses its long horns to attack the big cat and manages to pierce his abdomen, leaving the cheetah seriously injured. The gazelle manages to escape and gets a chance to brag about the time it's got its sweet revenge on one of the fiercest predators. Who knows, maybe he will become part of the mad gazelle folklore. While cheetahs are the fastest animal, honey badgers are the most notorious. Predators often get fooled by their small appearance and make the mistake of attacking them, but they are soon repulsed by the tenacity and aggressiveness of these honey badgers. These honey badgers don't even mind exchanging punches with lions and crocodiles. That's kind of strange, isn't it? There's even a video online which shows a honey badger standing its own against two full-grown lions. So when the animal got entangled with the python, it wasn't going to go down without a fight. The python tried to suffocate the honey badger, but failed, and soon the brave badger managed to free himself. What happened next is truly what describes this small animal. Rather than running and escaping, the honey badger started continuously biting at the snake. He was truly out for revenge, as he didn't even mind two jackals circling around him and continued to attack the python. Soon, he tore the python into pieces and gave a new meaning to the word revenge. Revenge is not only a wild animal thing. Sometimes the city animals want to have a say too when it comes to revenge. The video of a rat attacking a pigeon in Brooklyn not only managed to grab the attention of New Yorkers, but of the whole world as well, as the video went viral. Usually it's the birds who attack the rats and fly away with their meal, but Brooklyn rats have gotten too strong after eating pizza leftovers. The rat grabs the pigeon by its neck and pins him to the ground. The pigeon tries to escape and flutters its wings with full force, but soon the fight gets more violent as the rat rescues to let the pigeon go and throws him around like a seasoned wrestler. People can be heard in this video cheering for the pigeon, but the rat was clearly angry about something. Maybe the pigeon shouldn't have shat on the rat's car. From the streets of Brooklyn, let's come to Asia. Monkeys have adapted themselves very well to live alongside humans in crowded cities of Asia. Living in the cities, monkeys have only two threats to their life, humans and street dogs. One such bizarre incident of revenge occurred in the state of Maharashtra in India, where monkeys killed 250 dogs in revenge attacks lasting over a month. What prompted the blood-chilling revenge? Some street dogs had mauled an infant monkey before, and surely these monkeys were enraged by this incident. These monkeys did not spare even small puppies and took them onto the roofs and threw them down, 
killing them in the process. Some revenge may be sweet, but this one is a blood chilling event. Even the humans residing in the area were unable to stop these angry monkeys from committing these murders. Revenge can be instant at times, as well as delayed. Elephants are one of the smartest animals on the earth and develop very close relationships with their herds as well as the humans they live with in several cultures. They have a very strong memory which they put to very good use, in this instance in taking revenge on their poachers. The elephants identified a woman who was among the poachers that had attacked the herd some days ago, and the matter escalated quickly. In revenge, the large herd of elephants rampaged the village and killed the woman ruthlessly by trampling over her. The herd soon went back to the forest, but came back later in the evening to trample over the dead body of the woman. The gentle giants can't be very friendly towards humans, but when revenge is on their mind, they can be the deadliest animal. There's nothing gentle about a caiman. Caimans are apex predators who are capable of hunting even other predators in the region. So, when an otter comes across, it's an easy target for the fierce caiman. Now keep in mind, otters themselves are very smart animals, and when in groups, they can match for any predator. In the video, a family of five otters was attacked by a caiman. The father otter defended himself and his baby and managed to push the caiman back, but very quickly the caiman managed to kill two of its babies. The father became enraged and sought revenge. Sensing the situation, the caiman had tried to escape, but the father otter stepped in. He attacked the caiman with ferocity and managed to kill the caiman brutally. In this video, the otter can be seen angrily chewing on the stomach of the caiman after killing him. Nothing is more dangerous than a parent who is out to protect his children. Nobody could have imagined that the predator would end up becoming food for the prey. Lion is considered the king of the jungle, so what can a puny zebra do to take revenge against him? Zebras look stunning to us humans as well as lions. Humans being materialistic love zebras for how they look, but lions with their pure hearts love zebras because of who they are, a big delicious chunk of meat. So, in this video we can see a hungry lioness running after zebras. As the zebras scatter while running for their life, the lioness is successful in grabbing a helpless baby zebra by its neck. Ordinarily, the lioness would have already started dreaming about the lunch, but this story is not so simple. While most zebras ran away from the spot, the mother zebra came back for her baby. Very bravely, she charges the lioness. The zebra not only manages to set her baby free, but also packs some martial arts kicks on the lioness, which makes the lioness run away in the other direction. What a sweet revenge. The baby must be proud of her mom. The last revenge on this list also has to do something with the lion. This time, it's the giraffe's turn to take its revenge. Giraffes with an average height of about 16 feet are the tallest animal in the world, which makes them also the tallest meal a lion can have. And lions being the king of the jungle want to have a bite out of this meal. But hunting a giraffe can be very difficult as its long legs not only allow it to run faster, but also pack a punch. The lion can clearly be seen trying to pounce on the giraffe, but because of the giraffe's long neck, he is not able to grab him properly and he falls to the ground. Taking advantage of this moment, the giraffe tramples upon the lion and crushes him with heavy blows. As the giraffe runs away, the lion is left biting the dust. You never would have thought that a lion could be so helpless against a giraffe. Sometimes the hunt doesn't always go as planned. The prey manages to turn the tables around and the only thing that is served to the predators is sweet revenge.